update only on two tonight. The social media trail that police say led them to a child sex assault suspect. As we first told you yesterday, Gabriel Gonzalez is accused of using apps to groom and violate young girls. But social media was also the catalyst for his arrest. This Instagram account was a lifeline for the victim, according to the creators. Well, she was, of course, scared of coming forward because she didn't want to get in trouble, especially with her parents. She didn't want to get in trouble with Gabriel. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan live in our newsroom and Rowan, the creator of that Instagram account, says Gonzalez preys on girls and young women. Yeah, Lisa, the page creators tell me they're aware of some minors who they say were assaulted by the 22 year old. They're working with investigators to get others to come forward. Incredibly relieved. It was something that at first I just didn't really believe was real. We're not identifying this woman because she said she was victimized by Gabriel Gonzalez, the 22 year old charged with sexual assault of a child. We're learning the 15 year old victim who led police to Gonzalez first reached out to this Instagram page, which was created by a group of women who say they had previous run ins with Gonzalez. Well, she was, of course, scared of coming forward because she didn't want to get in trouble, especially with her parents. She didn't want to get in trouble with Gabriel. She did come forward and now Montgomery County investigators are seeking other potential victims and working with the creators of the Instagram page. We are aware of that Instagram page and we're making contact with that um with the, the owner of that page to find out what information they have and what information caused them to post that up. The women say the relief they felt at Gonzalez's arrest quickly went away after learning he's out on bond. Any kind of peace of mind, any kind of relief, any kind of solace that I'd felt just for that short amount of time, I just felt was ripped away from me. But they say this won't stop their work of helping potential victims come forward. Yeah, can a condition of Gonzalez's felony bond. He cannot have contact with anyone under 18 or use the Internet. Live in the newsroom, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News.